Hello guys, this is Proud out here, and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Part 4. And now, instantly, as you'll all see, there has been a lot of work done. I think I spent about three hours levelling all this ground off. I'll just go and show you all the levelling that I've done so far. All this, there was, most of the trees were cut off, but I had to heighten it all up and level it up a lot more. Um, I don't think you would see at all from where I am, nope. But down here where we are used to be the canyon, the one that we explored that was quite boring. And I've just lived off and I've put, it's because it's a big drop, I've put fences, or at least it's a big drop some places, i put fences so that I don't fall. Now I went hunting for cows, I was, I recorded a, I think it was a five minute episode of me bringing the cows and teaching you how to breed them, but that doesn't, it was only five minutes so what you do is you get wheat and you feed wheat to two cows, obviously you need two to make a baby. And for chickens, I got a chicken. Uh, once I get to my seeds, yeah. If you feed your chickens some seeds, well, that one seems to be stuck in a corner. I've had that issue a couple of times. And they give you eggs, which you can either use to make stuff, or if you throw them just like I did with the right click, that like you would a snowball, um, you can get a baby one. Now the three biggest changes, this is my house, I don't know whether I had these in last time, it just saves me clicking the doors, my house, my chest is empty, and to the left is the chest room, so I've got sand and dirt in there, I've sold my valuables, I went and got obsidian with my diamond pickaxe, that's my tools and weapons, Food. And down here there's more at the whoops. Decorations, flowers, board new uh, it's um, building stuff and wood. And this chest here, it's not been named, but that's just for all my books for my enchantment room once I make once I get all the leather that I need. There's one room done. Um and here's the furnacing. There's not too much to say. Furnaces, there's, um, there's three here for random, then the rest of them have all signposted for what they are. And next here, it's not build yet, but this is the enchantment room. Now this block here, this is where the enchantment table will be, and these blocks here is where the books will be, except instead of one high, they'll be two high. Um, I, build, I built a bridge across here, and flattened the land out, the land out here because I don't know whether I should get it done in this episode but in this episode I am hoping to make some an automatic wheat farm sorry I couldn't think of it there yeah, so what you need is you need some red torches redstone torches now I've got plants here so I'll make a crafting bench next to me And then you need a lever. I just make two just in case. You need um, a few s of the repeaters. Oops, there we got it. And it's redstone in the middle. And I've already messed up because I forgot to bring my iron with me and also forgot to fill that bucket of water. So I'll fill this bucket while I'm here. And I need to go and get some iron because we need six pistons. Now, I've, I just quickly ran through how to build the redstone repeater on that there. Obviously pause it if you're stuck. I don't think I, I shouldn't need to make any more. Uh, valuables, I'll need six iron. I'll just make it here while I'm here. Um, how is it you make it again? Uh, that's how to make a piston. There's six pistons. Um, 
I've got, I brought a stack and a half of redstone. If I remember correctly, for, a no, for an average size one, you use about a stack of redstone, but I'll do a normal size one, then I'll make it bigger as we go. So we need the torches here, we don't need the torch piston. We need to make. We only need one redstone torch, but make two just in case. Yeah. Now, first, what you're going to do is just build too high across. And I'll tell you why just in a second. Uh, if that way, it needs to be. Three. Oh. I haven't build, built one of these in ages, so I'm messing up. Oh. I really am bad at this. Now you leave the bottom bit here, so you do. And the pistons. They'll go there. Leave a space, leave two spaces and put it there. There, leave two spaces. Now technically there's no, it doesn't have to be a certain length this, but this is just the length I always go for, the, well the width, sorry. I don't really think you need it any wider. And then with the repeaters, what you do is you put a uh, redstone repeater facing that way. And then hook all that up with redstone wiring. And then once you do that, get your shovel. And start digging across down here. Oh, that's my shovel away already. This bit doesn't really matter how long you do it. Just this is just how far the lever goes with the wiring. So if we put the torch there, that should activate all the pistons as it does. So if we add some wiring. Make sure if you're doing it long, like what I'm doing, you put some repeaters in. And then there's the lever. I notice that with the lever, I'm opening and closing the pistons. Now what you want to do is you want to build as, as long as you want because the longer the farm goes the further down it goes. I'll explain that to you uh, just a couple of seconds once I've got this bit. Yeah. Uh, I need to make slabs, I forgot about that. Oh well. I dig out this whole furrow away. This is where the water goes, so that your crops are freshly watered. You only need two of them for this, obviously. Every other pist every other set of two pistons that you add, you add another water core. And then, once you do that, you just get your buckets, add First of all, you make an infinite water source, which is you put one in that corner and one in that corner, just so it's a lot quicker. You only really need one bucket, but I always bring two just so the infinite water source is quicker. Uh, there, right. And then there's only one other thing you're doing. If you stand up here, pull a bucket and put it needs to be flat water source like that. It's not an infinite water source, but 
still. Uh, once you do that. So before we do anything else, we'll just show you how it actually works. And oh, it's getting dark. So once you do this, well, here's the lever here. I might need to extend that. Once you activate that, the water will come out. And the reason that the water's falling in there is because of not getting slabs. So I've got enough cobblestone, but we'll get back to the house. We'll go to sleep, then we'll make the slabs. The slabs are basically just act as a block which stops the water and also makes it easier for you to walk up and down. There. So, the slabs you need oh, three across. There, a stack of slabs is plenty. Obviously, the longer you make it, the more slabs you need. That's self explanatory, but. Yeah. Uh, I'll just eat some of my steaks. Um, to get steaks, you need to kill cows. I breed my cows every day. I breed them normally, or well, every Minecraft day. And then, once there's a lot of them, I just kill half of them off. So once we've done that, what you do is put the slabs there, so that you can walk up and down easy enough, and you're not too high. You can use this process for carrots, potatoes, you can even use it for melons, I think, don't hold me to that one, I've never tried that, I use a different one for melons. Well, there's the thing, so I'll just show you right now, right click the lever, and water comes flooding out, and the water stops here. So, if I... I'll just mark that out, that's where it stops. And if you want the water to go further, all you do is you dig. I won't dig it all, but I'll just show you the bits. And as always, have to. Right. But if you want the water to come further down, it just goes in there, then it falls down. So I'll fill in the bits again. You can fill in the water because the water block it goes three blocks, so here it doesn't really matter. Right. So now I've got my hoe and I've got seeds. You just pull the grass. Oh. Good job I brought my iron one, that's my first wooden hole finally finished. I don't have enough seeds to fill the whole farm but I've got enough to can I show you how it works. As you can see the water leg up there. Right. Uh, right, what else do I do? Well you can either leave it like that and then what you do is you just jump in there to collect all your wheat. That's what I tend to do because the next bit's sometimes complicated. But since since it's for use, at least attempt to next bit. Well, I'm gonna go get two buckets of water to make, because you need the two buckets for this next part. Now, because I made the slabs too long. Obviously, there's a, well, there isn't really a too long bit for the bit that I'm trying to do, it is. And the water will go in there, so, oops. Uh, shovel. You need to block off the bits of water there. I need to do the same here. Now, I know the seeds have just been planted and they'll get whisked back, but this is how it works. The water goes in there, and then once you put the two extra buckets of water in, everything you just stand here and everything will come to you. 
Sometimes it takes a while for this bit to actually work. Add the other bucket of water. Uh, there, that brings everything into the middle here. Some things will get put up in the side of the slabs here, but overall that will do that. So we'll just plant a couple of seeds again, just to for just for showing purposes. The lever. And it's not completely wicked, now well, that's a boo boo, but. Oh well, you can. It always takes me a wee while to get this bit sorted because you can't have it an infinite water source. So, what I had to do sometimes was build it up and then let it drop down more, but. I'm not going to have that bit in at all, it just confuses me. I'll just collect them all at the bottom, that was just to show you. Uh, in fact, I'll just do that and have it sit there. I think that'll work. Uh, I can just sit there, all there. Well, now I'm going to go and plant the seeds. And uh, that's the automatic farm. Uh, what I will do, whether it will be on or off camera, I'm not sure. I will make this into an actual building instead of just it being open. And I'll possibly make it bigger. No promises. I had a big wheat farm last time. It, it was about 100 wheat I was getting roughly from it every time I did it. So a wee bridge here just so it's easier to go across, save me jumping down miles. I went to hunt for a village so I did, it was very unsuccessful. And well we've got a wee while left so I'm going to show you how to make the enchantment table. You need four bits of obsidian, two diamonds and you need a book. Now to make to get paper, you just do three sugar canes across to get paper, and then for a book, you do one bit of leather and three bits of paper. So in here to craft the table, I'll send it along the bottom. Oh, there. Yep. Dive the either side in the middle, and the book at the top. There's the enchantment table. Oh, enchantment rooms here. This has really been a bad day of Minecraft for me. Yeah. And as you see, like, if I put a shovel to enchant it, I can only get like, level 5 just now. That's because I'm not, I've not got enough books. Uh, if you're wondering why my level's so low, when I was looking for cows, I accidentally fell and died, basically. Now, this is my normal wheat farm. I'm going to slowly turn away from this one just into my automatic one because obviously the automatic one's quicker but I'll still replant all the seeds that I get here I just won't see to it as much as I used to The reason I looked for a village is because I want carrots and potatoes and you get them in most villages Carrots obviously would get me pigs. Well, I could get pigs, but carrots would let me breed them. And potatoes just because I, I want them. There's no there's no apparent reason for that. Harvest the sugar canes. Oops. Now I said in the earlier episode I don't think I could put them in sand. I found out the reason ever, because the block wasn't adjacent to water, it was one block higher, so it wasn't the right block, so that'll be why that wasn't working. 45 sugar canes I got this time, oh 47, they're everywhere, uh, well 50 that's 
and it's round number. I haven't explored any caves or that. I've found a couple of caves, but I haven't been in them. I, I don't know all right offhand where they are. I need to make my way there off camera and then just start recording there. Well, I've got 10 more seeds of me as well. Go and plant them. Uh, my automatic wheat farm. Uh, you'll have noticed that I dug away a lot of sand in there. Uh, that sand was so as I could fill in the big canyon. Just in case I have to dig a dirt bit down, I won't kill myself. I fought a few zombies, skeletons. I've even fought a couple of endermen. I cleared out all this area. Well, oops, nearly sunset. It looks like a sandy biome-ish over there because it's really sandy right about here. In the next, in a couple of episodes, I, I think we'll get a boat and explore, and at least that's what the plan is. But look at that lovely sunset. Well, better get back to the house if all the zombies come. Yeah, but I'll possibly enchant my weapons, some of them now, possibly even my armor. Because I've got enough for some bookcases, but I need 90 books in total, and I think I've got 19. I've got a lot of paper, it's just the leather, but I don't want to massacre all the cows, because I don't think I'd get enough leather. And I like cows anyway, they're the best food source in the game that I know of. I don't know if I'd how much fish give you, because I've attempted fishing one day, and I was really bad at it. So what I do is valuables, if I get anything, slime ball it could go in there. Redstone, I used just under a stack of redstone for that size of one. That's just a kind of guidance about how much you should use. Obviously use as much as you please, it doesn't really bother me. Well, it will never bother me anyway, but just remember that the longer the Uh, the longer it goes, the more repeaters you'll need. Oh, I've got some tree saplings in there, they can go in a good bit. And the reason I put single dirt and single sand down the way is so is that if I just press shift and right click the dirt like I did there, it will go to one of the dirt piles instead of just going to the top one, so it's a bit more organised. I'll do that with my aisle. Uh, I don't think I'll ever get enough diamonds to do it, but you never know. Redstone and aisle are the two ones that you'll get most. Slime balls, not really. Gold, a wee bit. So just do that to organise it. You can do that with food as well. I've got a lot of wheat so I can start making bread. I'm tending just to keep the wheat for to feed my cows now. So I am um, I may as well just sort everything in now while dot these um, a lot of fence posts I got so I did. I had to use, I had to get a lot so that I could do the, like, outside my kind of housey, house area. A fence gate could just go there, that doesn't matter. Spruce wood, birch wood. Plugs. Spruce wood everywhere. Oak wood, that's oak's normally the one that you get the most. Uh, the saplings, they don't matter. Yeah. So we organise dirt. Clay, I will eventually furnish that into bricks, but I don't have too much, so. Probably be pointless. And to get back to stone, you just smelt the cobblestone. 
the decorations they could just lay there, they don't need sorted. And I've got a lot of paper, and that will make more paper. But I've not got very many books, I'll put the leather in there. Well, I think that's about all for the Minecraft day. I did three hours off camera for what? Just to show you it within five minutes, I showed you everything, I think. It's stupid, it's weird, and it's weird just the way I said that. Like, I did three hours, which is a lot of time, just to show you for five minutes maximum. Uh, they've got the automatic wheat farm working now. If there's any ideas about what you want me to build, don't hesitate to comment. As I said in earlier episodes, I'm not a master builder or anything. As you can see, that's very basic. I'm presuming if you go on, like if you go on other channels on YouTube, they've got very high tech ones that will probably put it into chess itself and that. But I'm a basic man. So next episode. I don't know too sure what we'll do, we could either build something cool, I'll fill in this bridge area just in case anything happens, I will go on a wee adventure off camera myself to see if I can see anything nice, if so I'll record it and take you there, so thanks very much for watching, toodle in the